Justin Turner, who is the co-MVP of this National League Championship Series, and he joins us now. The, the man I love to call Team Wolf. Justin Turner, congratulations, man. An awesome performance by you. Chris Taylor, the other uh, MVP. Your reaction to this honor, uh, a co-MVP of a National League Championship Series? Uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Uh, but really, I think there's uh, a lot of guys you can give it to. And uh, you look up and down our lineup, uh, what we were able to do. Different guys coming up with big swings. They have... Uh, Big swings of the bat every night, and uh, our pitching staff, the bullpen was lights out, and our starting pitchers getting us in the fifth, sixth inning, and turning over those guys. Uh, so many guys, you know, could have got this reward, but uh, or award, but uh, just uh, happy to be going to the World Series, man. Yeah, and you know what? Clayton Kershaw is also going to the World Series, and he can silence all the critics, all the nasty media out there. Let's talk about his ERA in postseason play. He was tremendous in this game. Uh, your thoughts on the best pitcher on the planet? Yeah, that was uh, – he had the best curveball tonight that I've ever seen him had uh, playing defense behind him. It was uh, incredible, and he's dropping down, throwing 95 and locating the fastball, changing speeds on the slider. You see him throwing 91, 92. You see him uh, slow it down a little bit, throwing 86, 87. The 3-2 pitch to Schwarber was was uh, nasty, and uh, he's, he's a competitor, man. That's, that's why he's one of the best in the business. He prepares, he goes out there, he competes, and uh, the will to win is, is incredible with that guy. J.T. Terrell, my man. What's going so on? I want to talk about the best hitter on the planet right now. That's you. From the beginning <laughs> of the year to now, I mean, you put together a remarkable season. So take me back to the process of where you got to this point with the leg kick and everything that you, you've put into the work to get your swing where it's at. Yeah, it all started uh, back with the Mets when I met Marlon Bird, and he was on me every single day in, in uh, 2013 trying to get me to uh, change the way I thought about hitting. He wanted me to go out and get the ball out in front and lift the ball and get the ball in the air. And uh, I was a little stubborn at first, but he, he kind of got to me the last two months of the season. Uh, I felt like I was starting to turn a corner and, and uh, finish the year strong and uh, really was you know thirsty for more. I wanted to get better. I wanted to, to learn more about this this swing that he was talking about. So I w got up with this guy and uh, we literally hit five days a week uh, from day one in the off season, uh, trying to change everything, get my body in a good position, being able to repeat, getting in that position every time, and and you know practicing getting the ball in the air. And uh, things have gone pretty well for me ever since then. Well, you're not going to Omaha, but you're going to a World Series. <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah, a little bit better. better. Huh? <laughs> Justin, congratulations, man. I, I know you're from Southern Cal. I, I know this is a dream come true. You've resigned with the team you rooted for. What makes this team so special? It's a team. It's, it's literally the definition of a team. It's 25 guys who are all in, all about doing whatever it takes to win a game uh, that particular day. And uh, the unselfishness is, is incredible. Um, you see uh, the different platoons and guys bouncing in and out and the lineup changes. And I can't tell you how many different lineups we used all year, but it doesn't matter. Everyone's all in. Everyone wants to do whatever it takes. They understand that if they're not starting that night, they're going to have an opportunity to come in and, and pinch hit later in the game and, and have an impactful swing and, and, and maybe sh uh, shift some momentum for us so uh, and, and that all starts with Dave Roberts uh, he's he's one of the most positive guys uh, the most genuine guys I've ever played for uh, his energy and his, his passion for uh, each and every single guy on this team is is real and 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 we love playing for him we all trust him I'm going to end this uh, interview with a nugget that's going to make you smile uh, a countdown if you will top three on base percentages in postseason history number three Babe Ruth number two Justin Turner number one Lou Gehrig not bad. <laughs> wow, man. Not bad. Uh, or anyone, Justin, I just speak the facts. Just speak the facts. Justin Turner, thanks for your time, man. We appreciate it.